This section heading is called Creating a Snort Rule Using Content. So now going back to Alice's end station, what we're going to do is we're going to analyze the Wireshark capture, and then we're going to create a snort rule based off of what we're seeing. So the first thing I want you to do is to click the Wireshark icon on the launcher to actually bring it to the front. So now once we have that up, we're going to apply a filter. So we're going to type ETH contains, and then we're going to basically pull out or apply a filter for the content that we're seeing underneath. So we're going to apply this filter, so I'm going to press enter to apply it. And what we're applying this filter for, again, is based on what we're seeing down in what is known as the packets bytes pane. So that's down here. So down here, we've got a hex dump. And then over to the right, we've got an ASCII representation of that dump. So those bytes that are not printable are actually represented with a dot, and we can see those over here. So something that we can see that is printable is we've got the prompt. So see, we've got support at STA1. So that's our username at hostname. So what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate how we can create a snort signature based off of that. So what's happening here is we're actually seeing the prompt kind of being relayed through the network when it's actually forming that shell. And we want to create a snort rule that's actually going to you know, detect the presence of that remote shell based off of that data right there. So we've got PPORT at ST, and then over here to the left, we're going to create our snort rule based off of the hex representation of that. So we've got 70, 70 over to 54. So we can see this is the content that we're going to use, as well as the protocol that we're using at the transport layer, which is TCP. Okay. So now we're going to click twice on the terminal icon, and then we're going to select the terminal that actually has the session established with the IPSLAN.yearbank.com device. So now the first thing that we're going to do inside of here is we're going to go into the local.rules file. Remember, this is where we create our test rule. So we're going to type sudo nano etsy snort rules rules and then local.rules. So we're going to scroll down to the bottom of this file. It doesn't have to be all the way down. Just actually pass this comment, this last comment over here, or line of comment, whatever you want to say. And then what we're going to do is we're going to define our rule. So now we're going to be changing the action. So the action, as we've seen before when defining them on the IDS device in previous labs, it was alert. But because we're on an IPS device, we not only can log um, events that happen, we can also stop them. So that's what we're going to do with this action right here. So this is going to stop the attack and then send a message. So we're going to drop any TCP communications coming from any source socket going to any destination socket. So we're going to continue what we're going to add for options on the next line. So the first option that we're going to add, and once again, your options are within parentheses. So the first option is going to be content. So content, colon, and then to the right of the colon, you have your user-defined variable. So the user-defined variable that we're putting in here is going to be the hex. So we have 70, space 70, 6F, space 72, space 74, 40, 53, 54. And then close that out. Boom. And then we're terminating this. Okay, so now we're going to add our other options on the next line. So the next option that we're going to add is a message. So this will be displayed within the log file. So we're going to give the message indicating what just happened here or what we just stopped, which is going to be a remote shell. And now we're going to add a signature ID. So the SID that we're going to add is 1, 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3. Close this out. So now we're going to save and exit. So uh, Control X, Y to save, enter. And now we're going to test our configuration, you know, that the syntax is actually good. So we're going to type sudo snort. We want to test the configuration that we have within 
that's included through our, remember this is included through the configuration file. So we're going to say Etsy snort snort.conf dash Q and then the interfaces. So we have our bridged interfaces. So we're specifying them as ETH0 and ETH1. Press enter. And once again, if we reach the bottom of this file and we don't see any errors, then that tells us that our syntax is good.